Hello, how are we all doing? We often get asked, how did you make Solar Smash? Well, this series should hopefully help guide you in the right direction. Follow along and we'll show you how to set up your space environment, how to generate destructible planets, and how to create a series of weapons. You do not need to be an expert and I will explain as we go along. Let's dive right in. The first thing we need to do is create a new Unity project. For this example, we'll be using the Universal Render Pipeline. For project name, you can call this anything you'd like. I will be calling it Solar Smash. And for location, again, anywhere you'd like. Uh, once done, click Create. Okay, so once Unity has finished creating the project, we'll be presented with the main pane and a sample scene. We won't be using this for the project, so we can go and click File, New Scene. We will then also create a new folder, which we will call Art, and a subfolder named Textures. Within Textures, we will be adding three images. We will add a Nebula, a Nebula 2, and a starry sky. I will add a link in the description to these three images if you don't want to create your own. So don't worry about that. I've just dragged and dropped it in and you can see if your images come in with this black square as well, if you click on the image and on the right hand side, if you click alpha is transparent and click apply, that will resolve that. And again, for the second nebula image, alpha and apply. Okay, good. Now that we have the three images, we can create our skybox. If we click on materials, you can see the default skybox is already there and that's what's rendered when you click play. But we'll be creating our own. So if we go to create material, I will name this starry sky. And under shader, if we go to skybox and six sided, you can see there are six slots for the texture. So we'll be using the one we imported earlier under Starry Sky, and you can just drag that to each one of those. Good, that should be good. So to switch from the default to the Starry Sky, if we go to Window, Rendering, Lighting, and environment, you can see the default sky box is selected here. We can scroll up and we'll see a starry sky material. That Close that and click play and you will be presented with a starry sky. Great, now that that's done, we can create the nebula particle system. So the first thing you want to do is right click here, create material and we will call this nebula one and under nebula one we'll drag the texture from earlier and just drop it onto base map under shader if we click this click mobile particles and additive that looks a lot better we'll do the same again for the second nebula so if we do nebula two drag the texture onto base map shader mobile particles and additive okay we're now ready so the first thing we'll do is we'll right click in hierarchy create empty and i will call this environment on environment right click create empty and we will call this nebula one add a component particle system so for these values, duration five is fine, looping fine, pre-warm we will check. For start lifetime, we will put at 5,000. And for start speed, we will drop it down to 0 0.001, which gives us this nice slow moving. For 3D start speed, Start size even, we'll keep unchecked. For start size here, we will have a random between two constants. We'll have this starting at 4,000 and 15,000. For start rotation, 
we will again have this as a random between two constants and we'll have 0 and 360. For start color, again, we'll have a random between two colors this time. And these can be anything you like. I like to have a fuchsia pink. And for the second, uh, a we'll go for this blue. Alpha, we'll drop down and I'll set this to around 25. And I'll do the same for the fuchsia. Good. Gravity, everything else looks okay. So if we go down to emission, 10 is too high. So we'll drop this down to 0 0.05. And for shape, scroll down we will make this a sphere radius we will increase to 10,000 so it's a little more spread um, for radius thickness we'll set this to 0 0.1 you can't see it on the screen so if we go to main camera um, for clipping panes if we set this to 20,000 we can see a little bit of the nebula start to appear that's fine don't worry about that for now the rest of that is okay so if we then go down to color over lifetime and we set a toggle in the middle here set that location to 50 percent we'll keep the alpha 255 but for the others so for the first one we'll set it right down to zero and for the last one again we'll set it right down to zero Finally, it's to get rid of this pink square, which just looks horrible. We go down to renderer and the nebula material we created earlier, we can just drag that onto there. Now, if we click play, we have a nice looking nebula. And that looks very nice indeed. To break this up, we can now look to add a strip nebula right across the middle so let's do that now so we can look to just duplicate this which looks very good but it's not quite the shape that we're after okay so let's look at nebula 2 but before we do that if i just go back to nebula 1 again and just at the bottom if i change the max particle size to 100 and just create, change this to velocity. That looks a little nicer now. Um, just to set up as well for the second nebula, if the main camera, just ensure that this position is reset. Um, for nebula two, given the shape that we're gonna create, we can set this to 90 degrees on the X. Good. So looking at these values, so duration, yeah, these are all fine. Uh, for start size, we will start a little bigger. So if I set this to 8,000 and 16,000, um, for the start rotation, we can put this to minus 15 and 15. For the color, we can break this up just so it looks a little different to what's already there. So if I go with a orange, I'll set the alpha to 40 this time. And for this, we can go with a red. Again, this is up to yourself. Um, feel free to set this to anything you like. The rest of the values look good. If we go to emission, bring this down to 0 0.01. And for shape, this time we'll be using a circle. The radius will stay the same. Radius thickness we can bring down to 0 that looks quite nice to see the ring around and we'll randomize the position to 2000 color over lifetime we will keep the same and for renderer we'll drag in nebula 2 and we will keep this at 5 and that looks very nice so if we then click play we have a very nice looking nebula. Okay, so in the next 
video, we will look at how we rotate around the planet using the camera. Um, if you liked this one, click like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.